wait the outcome of that. Now, Georgie has been testing her wits on the rally circuit. <laughs> That's because A1 GP co-host Tony Jardine challenged me a few months ago and said, come on, you're always talking about motorsport, get on and actually do it. So um, this is how it all unfolded. There has been some laughing and conjecture about whether I'm going to be able to actually see over the dashboard, so this will be the moment of truth. Okay. Nope. <laughs> I'm joking, I can't. You can reach it, so you're all right. It pretty much walks you through. Oh, God, isn't that embarrassing? So you're talking here about the way forward and it looks serious. Yeah, look at what a state I'm in after my day in the car. Not exactly a good look, is it? But we're going through all the pace notes. It's so confusing what you have to take in. You basically speak a completely different language at breakneck speed while sitting next to your driver. So they decide to put a blonde in a car reading a map. And this is what happens. Into there's, a tree. There's little Georgie. <laughs> It looks very slow, doesn't it? But we were going incredibly fast. Yeah. <laughs> I look like I'm about to be sick. Well, right you get a flavour of it anyway, but great fun. And thanks to Tony and all the team, because they great. were I want to see more of very that. professional. Looks very, very impressive. Uh, when we come back, we'll be live at Upton Park. This time, we're talking about Alan Kerbishley.